so before you get started make sure you hit the red subscribe button and press the bell icon to stay connected with our new video hey what is up guys Shaun here and back with a new video of the full review of the Moto G5 Plus I know I know this device was launched a couple of months ago but still it's a beast in the price tag of 17,000 so I think I need to make a video on this device review so sit back relax and enjoy this show So guys first let me give you the quick specs of the Moto G5 Plus. So the Moto G5 Plus was powered by Snapdragon 625 chipset which is a octa core chipset and Adreno 505 GPU for gaming. The Moto G5 Plus comes with two variant of 3 gigs of RAM and another is 4 gigs of RAM and with the separate internal storage the 3 gigs of RAM variant comes with 16 gigs of internal storage and the 4 gigs of RAM variant comes with 32 gigs of internal storage. It has 5.2 inch 1080p IPS LCD display with the protection of Gorilla Glass 3. It has dual nano SIM with dedicated micro SD card slot. It has 12 megapixel of rear camera with f1.7 aperture and 5 megapixel of front with f2.0 aperture. It has 3000 mAh of battery. It has fingerprint sensor and the support of NFC. So after all, let's talk in details about this phone. So talking about the display of the Moto G5 Plus, it has 5.2 inch full edge display. Very sadly, the last year Moto G4 Plus has 5.5 inch of full edge display. But the display quality is equally same because the both have full edge display. It has 424 pixel per inch of resolution and it has great viewing angles. The color contrast are normal the saturation level are equally great and the brightness are affordable too it has the auto brightness sensor but if you want to enable this you have to go to the setting first then you have to enable it manually the display quality is overall pretty good and it has the support of Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection so now let's talk about the operating system system architecture processor memory and the storage about the Moto G5 plus the Moto G5 plus is runs on Android 7.0 Nougat, the latest one, and the Moto G5 Plus runs on Qualcomm Snapdragon 625 processor with 2.0 GHz octa core CPU and 650 MHz. And for gaming, it has Adreno 506 GPU. Talking about the RAM, it has two variants one is 3 GB variant, and another is 4 GB variant, and the storage for those devices has separate. The 3 gigs of RAM variant comes with 16 gigs of internal storage and the 4 gigs of RAM comes with 32 gigs of internal storage. But both these devices can be expandable up to 128GB by a micro SD card. So let's talk about an important part of this device which is battery. It has 3000mAh non-removable battery. Actually the back is not removable so that's why you can't remove the battery. The support of turbo charge. So let's talk about an important part of this device which is battery. It has 3000mAh non-removable battery. Actually the back is not removable so that's why you can't remove the battery. And the support of turbo charge, actually Motorola says it has it has 15 actually Motorola says it has 15 watt of turbo charge. And this device can charge your device 60% in just 15 minutes. That's amazing. And actually in terms of daily use I feel it takes uh, mostly about 20 to 30 minutes to charge up to 60 percent but it works pretty well I think so and uh, the overall the day uses the device can survive all the day easily and more than a day of heavy uses and skin on time so talking about the other things like the sensor this device have all of useful and basic sensors but don't know why the compass sensor is missing on that device. Actually, uh, Motorola have to care about those simple and useful things. So this device has the support of NXC, the location service and the GPS works pretty well. The other networks 4G LTE, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.2 are works very well and the connectivity with the micro USB and the 3.5 headphone jacks all are pretty well. So uh, the waterproof protection, I mean the water protection, this device does not have the brilliant water protection but 
the water rappel nano coating is available on the device so this device can survive from the little bit of water drops so finally talk about the best thing of this device is the camera yes the camera of this device is just amazing in terms of my viewing i don't know what other people think about this device camera but really i like the camera of this device so this device have 12 megapixel of dual auto focus pixel with f 1.7 aperture the color balancing dual led flash 8x digital zoom for photos 4x for videos drag to focus expose quick capture tap anywhere to capture best shot professional mode brushed mode auto hdr panorama video stabilization 4k hd recording slow motion video and lot of more and talking about the front camera it has 5 megapixel of camera with wide angle lens and f 2.2 aperture with the support of display flash professional mode and the beautification mode so the video quality is quite amazing it has 4k ultra hd video recording with 30 frames per second and full hd recording i mean 1080p recording with 60 frames per second so in terms of camera i really like the camera of the moto g5 plus so guys i use this device for almost 30 days and i picked some good and bad things about this device so the good things are it has very good build quality in terms of my viewing it supports the turbo charging the near stock android experience the quick fingerprint sensor a very good camera a very good battery life but the bad things about this device is the very little heating issues there is no led indicator for notifications the loudspeaker is not that much good so guys these are the good and the bad things about the moto g5 plus so if you like this video please give a huge thumbs up share with your friends and tell them about this video if you have any comment or suggestion then comment in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe our channel because i'll be back with another video like this one till keep smiling and keep enjoying